Welcome back everybody to another video. Finally, I'm making another video. It's been a while. I know this video is not going to be about the magazines. I'm, I was going to make a video about the magazines and then time caught up to me and I didn't have this stuff ready. So I'm like, alright, I already have this ready and I have been wanting to make this video too. So I'll make it. Today's video is going to be about some of the lures that I throw that are older that it's like a top five, maybe top ten, depending on how many lures that I've caught bass off and lures that are very productive. But first thing I want to show is a little thing, a little tackle box we recently got. It's a gigantic Plano double-sided one or whatever. And we decided to fill up with every crankbait we have. You know, there's a couple things in here not crankbaits, which uh, we made the video about this, the Dance's Eel. You see the Dance's Crawl. You see a Begley's. You see a Bomber I bought for $6, of course. Lower price these days, and that's a Bomber from the 80s. I got my Color Selector Bomber. Got a Kisco Kid. We got a lazy Ike and like a man's bait. One of the ones I want to show y'all is something my brother picked up at a antique store. One of them is this Bomber Model A shallow bait and this like oddly color color I've never seen in my life. Then we got this saltwater, a chrome bomber model A. Never seen this bait before. I don't think there's any more. Oh, this is one we found recently. Digging through some old tackle. Found this. Original bomber model A. But these are the things that I'm really excited about that he found. One of them being the original. Deep Diving Rebel Jerk Fate. I know dang well this is not no floater. I mean, this is like a leg bait. It's chrome blue. I mean, this bait is so cool. I love bomb. I mean, not bomber. Rebel Jerk Baits. I have every size. And a rare, I've caught numerous of fish, which we're going to get into that into the tips part or the bait. I use. And one more that he bought is this. I've never seen it in my life. It might be the first time y'all ever see it. It's a giant saltwater rebel bait, jerk bait, with all the original stuff inside of it. This thing is brand new, basically. It's got the book in it. This thing is longer than my hand. And it's enormous. I mean... I have a couple, uh, I have a man saltwater jerkbait and a bomber saltwater jerkbait, but I've never seen a Rebel. And one of the, in the paper that's inside, just talks about some things about it. I love the old Rebel logo. Well, I love the old Rebel boxes as well. Talks about rigging and stuff. Mostly probably about the bait. But this bait, I mean... This is a collector's item. This is never going to be fished. And this is definitely the red. It's a, it's a, I think it's a floater. Very light. Except the hooks. But. Super cool bait. Now, let's get into the baits I throw. Number one on this list is a bait I threw. I've gotten plenty of bites off of it. And it's, one, the time of the year. And two... The color, and I have it rigged up on my lose uh, BB1LMG Browning with the lose worm rod, and it is the man's auger tail. Well, let's just say it was originally, and I have a couple auger tails, but this one came in a video. Slower came out of a pack in a video, an older one, where I went to a yard sale and I bought a 
old man's 305 piece worm tackle box. And it has every single cool worm in there. And one of them was the auger tail. It was originally an orange tip. And uh, over time, I took, decided to take this one out. I had it in my tackle box and I didn't know. But I have a little bit of a bigger weight on here. Texas rig it. Threw it in a 10 feet deep hole and hooked up with the big one. And then I had on my spinning rod. And then all of a sudden, it, uh, Bent my hook up because one, I didn't have it set right. Well, and I had my drag uh, fully tightened, so it's another problem. And then some of the other lures that are inside here that I'm yet to catch anything off, but I'm attempting, like the flipping, the uh, the flipping waggler. Yet to catch something off that. This one, I forgot the name of. The lizard, I've never read really through the lizard. Got the big giant jelly worm. Got the smaller jelly worm. And you got these. Uh, oh, these are uh, jelly wagglers by man's. These are auger tails. I don't know what these are. These are all the man's tubes, grubs. And you got the man's shadow. And this bait. Uh, the name, I kind of forgot the, this time. And a few other lures that I've yet to catch anything off, which I haven't really threw that much yet, but I'm planning on it, are some of the, uh, I guess I'm going to call them Bass Pro Shop Gator Tails, which they basically have the Gator Tails with Rattlers. These are made with Rattlers. Put the rattler in the tail, and it makes a rattling noise. These are the black, I mean the blue. These are the, and they make smaller ones. So these are both the sizes. You've got green, blue, a brown, and a big like greenish brownish color. I don't know if that's a green pumpkin or not. They got all these random baits. These are like your generic baits that you would get. I don't know if those are Mr. Twisters or not. But the brown ones and stuff. And you got a cream. I think this is a cream. No, a cream. Uh, culprit. Green. I'm still wanting to catch something off that. And the last one is some baits in here. I really want to catch something off. And this one, this has the Rattlers in it for them. They're like these little balls. You got some... Oh, these Bass Pro Shops roost, uh, Chicken's Foot. And then we got some H&H &H Chicken's Foot that are called, on the tail, let's see here, by H&H, &H, they're called, they load, they show, in semi see writing, but they're called Chicken's Foot. These, I don't even know what they are. There's two different colors. And here's some lizards. I believe these are probably Bass Pro Shop lizards. There's a couple colors. More colors in here. There's some of these stick baits. And we got in here some ringworms by Mr. Twist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, ringworms by Mr. Twister. Some more H and H. Some big weights and some of the rattlers and some creams. That's for that one. And we'll get to my second bait I love to throw. I love throwing crankbaits. And one of the colors I love to throw. Crawl and Fire Tiger. This is the Bomber Fat A. And the smaller one. It's a Fire Tiger. The Fire Tiger. This bait. Not this one, but the Model A. And I don't have it right now. That I will show you in the video. This bait and the man's. Oh, I forgot the name of it. But it's in man's fire tiger. Super. I love fire tiger. These baits work perfect. Rocky areas. I mean, I've slammed two pounders and big bass off of it. 
It's another good bait. I like to use my medium heavies or some of my older crankbaiting rods like my Luz BB1N with its original rod. It's a honorable mentions. This is basically close to the color. The Crawl Crankbait Deep Diving by Bill Norman, even though this is not, I don't use this bait. But my dad can also tell you that when he used to fish at a, uh, well, we live in Maryland, so if you don't know where the Upper Bay is, he slammed a six pounder off this bait. Never really got to throw it, but basically in this color, crankbaits really handle really well. And one lure I don't believe I showed yet that I recently got is the Rebel Cricket. Now let's get into my third bait. The next bait on this list is, I mean, this bait is giving me, is giving me so much luck. And I might have just talked about it. But it is the Rebel Floating Minnow. This bait has got me so much luck. Specifically ponds and river. Ponds, you need a nice murky, darker color. This chrome will stick out and it will come and slam it. How I like to fish this bait, some people have their own ways of fishing it is I like to jerk it, the spade jerk bait uses jerk bait to where I uh, fish it to where it goes barely under the surface. I uh, jerk it twice where it gives it that two shines and I let it float up just a little bit to where I can see it again. And I do the same thing. And they will slam it as soon as it comes or as soon as it stops. They like to roll on it. This bait is a bait I love to use and they made other colors I have all sizes but I'm yet to use them which I kind of prefer this bait more throw this on a uh, bait caster or a spinning reel overall it's one of my favorite jerk baits now it's getting to the fourth bait the next bait I mean this bait, not this color, but this bait has caught me six pounder, five pounders, any type of big bass that you can think of. And this bait is the Bagley's Bangalore. Not this color, but I would say yellow, maybe like a silvery color, or baby bass will tear up. The most biggest fish in your river, lake, or pond. This bait has given me so much luck. Not this color, because I, unfortunately the one that did so good, I lost it. And I was so disappointed about it. And especially, any Begley's, it's going to be, for me, the prop bait. The single prop jerk bait by Begley's. The Bangalore has been around for a long time. This is, I believe, the 80s version. I have the even older versions of the Bangalore. And a, this is just a normal jerk bait. It's in a perch pattern. Then I have a white one in a perch, or pa like a perch, maybe shad, like a perch pattern. It's a smaller one with a prop. Bangalores are, st I mean, they are so well. You could use spinning rod, your, your spinning reel, or bait caster. I'm telling you right now, fishing around pads early morning, you'll catch the biggest bass. And now, let's get to my fifth bait. This is going to be my fifth and final bait. I don't have the original one for right now, but it's the closest I can get to the retro one. It is course a car to go by is the crawfish weedless jig or chatterbait I cannot tell you 
how much good this bait does to me. Not just the crawl, the white pattern. Like a perch or shad color. These two will tear up any bass, but it has to be the right conditions. White is really good for muddy. Crawl is good for rockier terrain where you know crawfish are going to live. This bait has done me so good. These two colors. And there's not a bigger thanks I can give to them because I've caught plenty of big fish off of them. And if y'all love fishing it with older baits, you will have to you have to at least try one of these. And more specifically, I have to tell you to use the Bangalore. Find a baby bass, a goldish color, like a yellowish color, or a white perchy color. And that's my one bat, my bait, one of these baits in this whole entire list that will catch you the biggest bass by pads and in the morning. And you will never have a problem. Alright guys, we have reached the end of the video. Leave a like and subscribe. And and I guess next video, hopefully, it will be, it should be, magazine video. But alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.